Welcome to Coach's Corner Cat fans. Thanks for uh, joining me here on this Monday afternoon with, uh, with Mike again. So a um, little, little long last week, so we'll go a little bit quicker this week. And uh, so we'll review the Clinton Massey game, preview Fort Recovery, and do a couple senior spotlights and then a couple, um, couple uh, what's the word I want? A couple um, people that help us all the time and have helped us for several years. So, so we'll get to that a little bit later. Uh, so, so we finished off the week uh, last week. Last Wednesday, we had uh, Kale's funeral, and it was a it was a, it was a good service, and and that, and the boys handled it well. And uh, so we got we got back to work on uh, you know Wednesday afternoon for practice, and and a good day on Thursday. And then so we uh, took the two hour bus trip, a little over two hours on the bus down to Clinton Massey. Um, you know, Clinton Massey was in the final eight last year, got beat by Kettering Alter, uh, and, and I think that think the round of eight. And uh, so, so they were coming back with uh, they had they did lose some, some of their better players, but but had some good returning guys back. So we weren't quite sure what we were going to get into. Uh, unfortunately for us, we played really well again. The first half, uh, we, we scored four times and scored right off the bat, and had an early interception and an early. Uh, they fumbled a punt that we recovered, and so we just we just got off to a really good start. And uh, again, we, we did a, a pretty good job of spreading the wealth. Three or four guys caught passes. A couple different guys caught touchdown passes. Uh, Miles finally got a, got his first touchdown on, on a good 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 run. And and uh, Bay was was nine for twelve, I think. And and so we didn't really have to throw. We thought we might have to throw a lot, but uh, but we didn't. And so. So the offense uh, did a good job, and then the defense played great. The first half, I think we only gave up 24 yards on a team that I'm going to guess over the last 20 years have averaged between three and 400 yards rushing per game. And so, so did, just did a great job. And, and so we got up 28, and they don't, they're not used to being behind, and they don't want to be behind. So, so uh, you know, in the second half, they, they, they seemed to play better, and they got a couple scores, but we finished it off with a good long drive. At the end of the game, I think seven minutes, and took it took a knee on the one one yard line. So one one fun thing from the game, and Mike asked me about it uh, just before we started. Um, we uh, we th when we when we line up for our extra points, the center, the, uh, the the holder, and the snapper line up like they normally would, but everybody else lines over over about on the three yard line. And I'm not sure why that started like that. I think Coach Reed started that. And uh, we've never even practiced it. We've never thrown it over there. But but this kind of like our senior class is. They saw something, and and uh, Bay related it to Bennett, our long snapper, and and somehow he got Brady's attention and just said, "Hey Bennett, snap it back here." Threw it over there, and, and before I knew it, I'm like, "What's going on?" And and we have a we have a two point conversion. So that one point, you know, make makes teams think about what they're going to do when they score. So so it's kind of cool. So so good win for the Cavs. Um, um, Clinton Massey did a really good job with with hosting us. Uh, you know they had 50 pizzas for our kids after the game, and and they had a presentation and they had a tailgate party with with some of that money going to Kale's family. So uh, they did they did a good good job hosting us. So preview Fort Recovery uh, at Fort Recover this way. So, so we start the MAC season. Uh, Fort comes in at one and one. They beat Wayne Trace and then lost to Urbana last week. Uh, offensively. Uh, kind of an unusual situation for them. They didn't really have a, a, a quarterback um, that, that wanted to play quarterback, from what I understand. So, so they're they're running basically what we call wildcat when you put a running back at quarterback, and, and and for the most part, a pure running team, and they're doing some doing some different formation types of things. So, I guess we'll see when when we get the Fort Recovery Friday night what we're going to see offensively, and then defensively, they're doing a pretty good job of mixing things up. In the past, they've pretty much always been a four, a four, a three defense, and, and they've they've mixed that up with some some three man front and some four man front. So so again again we won't know for sure whether they're going to mix it up or go to one or the other. And so uh, looking forward to the uh, to the game on Friday night, and uh, we'll, we'll see. We're we're pretty we're really healthy uh, as far as as our varsity guys. Everybody came came through clean on the game. The other night, so seven back to seven o'clock game this week at Fort Recovery. So uh, moving on, senior spotlight. Again, like I said last week, I'm going to go numerically. So number four, Drew Frank, and number seven, Ethan Elander. So Drew 
is uh, is on a couple of the special teams, but he's a starting corner for us. Really, really proud of Drew because he hung in there and he got his opportunity this year as a senior and, and has done done really well. Um, you know, he had an interception last night uh, that that set us up in really good field position, and uh, just did well this summer and, and just showed us that hey, I, I can do this. You know, he grew two or three inches and. And uh, he's, he's a smart, smart guy um, ath athletically. And, and uh, Drew's also a baseball guy with, for uh, Coach Klinky. And so he, he's, he's really proven to us these last two games that, that he can do this. And so hopefully he, he will continue to, to play well. Uh, number seven, Ethan Elander. We knew Ethan could play this year. You know, he played quite a bit last year. Um, he, he's a punt returner, kick returner. And and uh, he's, our, he's our slot guy, kind of took the place of Braylon Hardimert last year. So he gets to run the ball sometimes and he gets to catch the ball sometimes. And, and we got to get him maybe a few more touches and get him, get him turned loose. Uh, he did have a couple, couple good runs last week and, and, a, and a couple catches. And so we'll get Ethan going hopefully more and more as, as the season goes on. Uh, he also plays corner. And fortunately, we've been able to get some good, good breaks for him on defense. Because we feel like we feel like we need him out there on offense almost all the time. So so Ethan is a track guy. So so he runs for Coach Bruns. Coach Bruns is our is our track coach, and as you know, Corey is our baseball coach. So we have a good good vibe in here with with some of the other other sports in that way. So four Drew Frank and number seven Ethan Elander. So uh, so spotlight of uh, support staff, I guess, is what I was looking for a little bit earlier. Uh, for I don't know how many years now, several years, um, um, Chris Crone and Rod Stogler, I'm, I'm, I'm going to guess for sure all my years and several years with John have been doing the stats for us. And uh, it just saves us so much, so much time as a staff. Um, and Chris is really good on a computer and, and Rod does all the help on, on Friday night, helping him um, do the actual kind of like statistics and so um, so those two really do a great job, and, and, and then Chris gets it all printed out, and it's just like a college. By the end of the game, uh, you know, he, he here's the stats from tonight, and, and then, he, then he makes a real nice copy for the next day that we can print out and save, and he sends it to the league and sends it to all the media. So things that, that uh, we just don't have to do. So much appreciation, uh, Rod and Chris, and, and hopefully we'll have you for a long time. And then finally, I guess a, a special shout out to Merle Hine. Merle has been a bus driver for us forever and helps in any way that he can. And that, the, the shout out is uh, I wanted to thank Merle for all those years, but, but he just had a knee replacement surgery about three weeks ago. So he's maybe four, I guess, by now, three or four weeks. So hopefully we'll get him back here soon driving the bus, but uh, he did make it to the to the uh, to the Valley View game, but he couldn't he couldn't make that trip uh, down to uh, to Clinton Massey. So Merle, we're thinking of you, and and uh, hopefully you'll be better. I, I know I heard you're out taking a walk today. Coach Brun said he saw you out walking, so that's a good sign, and and uh, hopefully we get you back quick. So uh, Fort Recovery this Friday, seven o'clock at Fort Recovery League opener for the Cavs.